Good morning, everyone. I wanted to pop on here really quick and show some of you because um, I know a lot of people don't like to start new things because they're like, oh my God, how long is this going to take me? So I wanted to pop on really quick because I've had a lot of people ask me what I use as my skincare regimen. And excuse my lip, I had a pimple. I hate when you get a pimple on your lip line. It sucks. Um, but I already did my skin. So I do our pill um, in the shower two to three times a week. And then after I get out of the shower and get dressed, I use our CBD Correcting Serum. It's our elixir. Just a couple pumps. And you put it all over your face. Super simple. But this is what, this is the skincare I've been using for two years now. And then moisturizer. I use a little bit extra moisturizer because I'm in Colorado and we are just a really dry climate. Um, but moisturizer. And I put it all over my face. And that's my skincare. And I'm done. Um, so it's the pill, the elixir, and then the moisturizer. Um, and then I use our charcoal um, bar soap and our mask too. Um, but I love our moisturizer. So that's my face routine. And then today was like the best morning ever because I got up, I took my capsules. I don't have any like right here on me, but you take two capsules in the morning. This is our Thrive One, Two, Three. And then eight to 10 ounces of water. And I've had a lot of people ask about our shakes. So. I wanted to kind of show you guys how micronized it is and how super simple. So they come in a, so I already took my capsules, did that first thing when I woke up, I have them next to my bedside. Um, and then I usually jump in the shower, get dressed. Um, I did not do my hair today because I'm going to be coloring it later, so stay tuned. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how super micronized this is. Like how many shakes powders are like this? And I'm trying to not to pour it super fast so that it doesn't like... Um, go anywhere. I put the water in first. And that's it. Like, you put it in the shaker cup. doesn't have to be a shaker cup. I'm going to be traveling later this week, so I probably won't take a shaker cup with me. And I'll just get a bottle of water, drink part of the water, and then pour my shake in. Like, it's that micronized, but you don't have to have a shaker cup. This happens to be one of my favorite shaker cups because it has affirmations on it. Samantha Paisley sent that to me. So, so I'm going to drink my shake and then I slap on my DFT. So these are our new TAC DFTs. So part of the proceeds from these DFTs go to cancer research. This month I believe it's testicular cancer. Um, I thought I was out of these. I was so sad because they've launched these three different times right now. We do have them in stock. However, the last two times they've launched them, we have run out. So, <laughs> I thought I was going to have to wait for my package to get here because I ordered a bunch of them this time because I'm like, I am not running out of my TAC. Like, this is like literally the showstopper DFT. Like, I cannot tell you this is my favorite one. It used to be Black Label and now it's this guy. You just... Um, let's see which one do I want to wear today. And then it really doesn't matter. I just, um, I'm going to wear this one. This is my Thrive. A generous and inspiring community of help. Hope. I can't read. So you take this. Oh, I'm going to wear it on my arm today. You slap it on and you're done. Like, it's that simple. But this is my favorite DFT now. Um, I don't generally talk about weight loss because I feel like weight is just a number. And hi Frank, I miss you. I need to come to North Carolina. We need to visit. Like we just need to. I need to come come get me some Mama Sandy and Papa Frank loves and see Frankie. So that might be happening this summer. Anyways, um but Tack is my new favorite DFT. Um I started Tack when they launched it and it like I said I generally don't talk about my weight loss. Um, it's something I've struggled with since I was a teenager, and um, everybody has their opinions about things. However, um, I'm just going to leave it at that, but however, um, I started TAC back in, to count months back now, February I think is when they launched it, and since I've been on TAC, I've lost 12 pounds, 
and I've been super excited about it because I really haven't changed a lot. I've just, I haven't been um, exercising as much as I would like to because <laughs> I hurt my knee again, uh, me and my, my knee. Um, I had, in 2015, I tore my meniscus and my ACL screwing around with Nicholas. Um, and then I had it done in 2015, or no, that was in 2014, but I had to wait because I found out we were pregnant with Madison and I couldn't have knee surgery while I was pregnant. So when Madison was six weeks old, I had ACL and meniscus surgery. Well, then about eight weeks out of surgery, I was carrying Madison and her carrier down our stairs and I missed the last two stairs and I, I fell. Always seems to be when I'm messing with a child. Um, and... I tore it again and had to have surgery again in 2017 because that's when it started bother bothering me to a point where I needed surgery. And then um, a couple months back, I don't know if you guys remember in like November, December, and it's not really that important, but I fell at Jackson and I skinned both my knees and I posted a picture. I'm just a klutz. <laughs> it's, it's what I am. Um, but I fell and I don't know if that's when I did it, but it finally got to a point a couple weeks ago. I was out in the yard work doing yard or out in the yard doing yard work. And I went to pivot and I, well, it just wasn't a pretty pain, let's put it that way, which drove me to go to the doctor and <laughs> I'm probably going to have to have surgery again. So, um, haven't been able to do my normal regimen. I've been walking a lot and drinking a lot of water, but I really haven't been doing anything strenuous. Um, a lot of people will be like, um, can I... Like, how much does it weight with weight loss? It's not a magic pill. Like, it's not. What Thrive is, is it's nutrition that you're putting into your body to help fill in your nutritional gaps. You definitely have to drink water. You definitely have to um, be conscientious of what you're putting into your mouth. And I'll be honest with you. I, I have a bad relationship with food, me personally. I emotionally eat. I've gotten a lot better at it, but I definitely do emotionally eat. I think a lot of us, especially with the day and age that we live in currently, with the situations that we're all at home, we we do that. So, um, what does my husband do for a living? <laughs> he works for a caulking company, you know, like bathroom caulking, um, and he's a project manager, so that's what he does. But, um, but um, where was I going with that? So I have to be very conscientious, me personally, about what I'm putting into my body because I literally can eat a chip and I gain 10 pounds. That's just me, or at least that's how I feel about it. Anyways, so I wanted to pop on here this morning and show you guys how simple it was. Like, that's it. I'm done with my skincare and my Thrive 1, 2, 3, less than what? I don't even know what I've been on here now because there's not like a little timer, but... If you are watching, please do me a favor and comment hashtag live if you see this little red um, live button up in the top left hand corner. It might be your guys' right though. Yeah, opposite. It would be your guys'. No, I don't know. I always get my, 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 my things mixed up when I'm whatever, mirrored. Anyways, live hashtag live and if you watch the replay, hashtag replay. Hey Kristen, I get to see you in three days. I'm so excited. And I am also wanted to pop on here to say I'm sorry but I'm not sorry be prepared for if you are friends with thrivers and you are not a thriver your Facebooks are gonna blow up in three days like it is like we're gonna post like crazy we're gonna post videos like crazy we're gonna go live all the time it's our convention this weekend we all haven't seen each other in two years almost and it is going down in Dallas so um, I'm super excited so I hope you all have a good Monday and if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out. Bye.